How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And so today, uh, I just wanted to talk with you guys a little bit about my Google Pixel 8a and why did I switch it to a custom ROM when Android 15 is right around the corner. And really, you know, just to kind of sum it up for everybody, it's the fact that, you know, Android 14 to Android 15 is not a super drastic change. It's not a change up in the user interface. It's not a user interface uh, overhaul or anything like that. Uh, maybe some subtle features in Android 15 that's not in Android 14. But for the most part of it, uh, it is pretty much the same. And so for me, I like having additional customizations to my Android device. It's not a very important thing. It's not something that I say that like everybody should switch to a custom ROM and be able to do this. For some people out there, it doesn't really matter to them. You know, the clean look of Android is a clean look of Android to them. Other people may want, you know, aesthetically with the user interface, want a little bit more to it. And then some people just want like, you know, the additional uh, features that can be given um, with a custom ROM, depending on the developer and what they add into the ROM. Like for me, um, I have the face unlock turned off because I use the biometric. And as you guys can see, a Pokeball is in place instead of a fingerprint icon. And yes. That Pokeball is functional. That's where the display unlock is at. So if I uh, lock my screen and wake it up, if I go below it, nothing happens. But I go on it, it unlocks. And there's multiple different ones I can choose from. To today's, you know, Pokemon theme. Um, they don't have one for the upper left corner, so I just have like the little Android icon right there uh, for you guys. You know, to see, just a little up. You know, something cool to the side of it. Um, you guys can see that, you know, I did customize the uh, Wi-Fi icon as well as, you know, the um, indicator for uh, signal strength. And then I get a little data traffic, uh, little monitor right there next to it to the far left. You know, text as far as battery percentage rather than a battery icon. So, like, these are, like, the little things that I can do uh, with a custom ROM. There's a little bit more stuff too. There's, you know, feature wise that you can definitely play around with. Uh, with this ROM, it has a section called Evolver, which allows you to pretty much tinker around with just about everything. Um, even like, you know, like, you know, the boot animations, uh, you're able to do that. Um, uh, customizing the power menu and what it can do, notifications, right? Heads up, uh, display uh, proximity notifications in a small floating window. Something that's supposed to be like similar to Apple's Dynamic Island, but you know, not a, not a, not a very big deal. Well, you know what? I'll just turn that on. So you have all these things, right? Less boring display, pop up notifications only for alarm and you know, dialer and messaging app. Um, yeah, you just you know, you have all these customizations, you know, that you could do with uh, a custom ROM and. I like being able to have that. I like, you know, being able to change up certain aspects. Like you guys may have noticed on my uh, settings there, I got mobile data and then I got Wi-Fi to the right instead of how it is on stock where it just says internet, you tap on it and then it gives you a drop down with both mobile data and Wi-Fi connection. Uh, with this ROM, you can separate it and have them as separate tiles and you can toggle them on and off so you don't have to go through so much steps to this, you know, uh, disable Wi-Fi and enable Wi-Fi, those types of things. So, um, yes, while I am at the mercy of the developers as to when they decide to give an update with the security software updates, I understand that completely. And I'm okay with that. Other people may not be, but I am okay with that. Um, so yeah, Android 15 won't be coming to my Pixel 8a anytime soon only because I am currently running a custom Android ROM, and that's just always been my thing. I've preferred uh, custom ROMs over stock ROMs, always has. My channel has been built on it. You go to my earliest videos, and it's nothing but custom ROM reviews. So I'm not going to be doing something like that as far as content and bringing that aspect back to the channel. Every now and then I will. Um, I'm not going to be you know, ROM flashing this device between different ROMs there is out there for it. This particular one I like the most, and so it's going to stay on my device for the foreseeable future, unless it becomes really unstable, but I don't see that happening at all. It is an official build, and it's not, you know, a nightly, so it's stable to run as a daily driver. Um, anyways, 
yeah, just a quick video for you guys as to what's happening with my uh, Pixel 8a and it being on a custom Android version. Uh, let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Are you guys interested in trying a custom Android? Have you guys ever flashed one before? Let me know in the comment section of the video. Thanks for checking out today's video, and uh, I will talk to you on the next one. Peace.